Good morning from the Black Forest. It's our day three here, and today we are in an open museum. Uh, it's so cool. I mean, like, uh, we are getting to explore and experience and getting to see how people worked and lived uh, in the Black Forest up to uh, 600 years. Uh, ago no, and I ago. guess it was like um, if I get it right like up to 15th century no this particular house yeah it's it yeah it's from 20th century but there uh, it's I think it's kind of mix of oh. every everything yeah this is more but more of like medieval age it's raining and we all are in our rain jacket oh. meow meow is the cat also from the medieval age? <laughs> Look at the cat! Yeah. She, she followed me and now she's standing there. It's so cool to see how the farmers lived and worked. Like there are many small plots um, with animals, different kind of animals and their machinery like uh, water meal or hand meal and stone meal and so much more. And it's just so peaceful here. It's only that it's raining and I don't have a hood in my rain jacket. We still have some mist over the top of the trees, the mountains, the hills. Can you see? Like it's here like on top, all mist. And it's so beautiful. Like the setting is so perfect. It's so charming. Oh my. It's so nice! Oh, over there as well, right on top of the hill. Oh, and Tom is over there taking some pictures of the donkey. It's a very big plot. I mean, it's like uh, around seven hectares of plot. So that's quite big. Someone from our Sam tour people, she was kind enough. Uh, to take some pictures of us and um, we just took some pictures here we're gonna get inside Tom is already there that's a very classical car and let's see what's inside and this is the bedroom with some goats hanging on the wardrobe cool oh this is a Christian depiction with Jesus on the portrait they had bunk bags back then. Oh, a baby bassinet. Cool. Oh, a toy. A doll. <laughs> Did they have such sunglasses back then? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> yeah. That's an inland land. Yeah. Uh, Compared yeah, to the nope, yeah, nine yeah, and that is uh, from Mac Singer. Yeah, Singer. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, we have done that. Yeah. That is Zoals in an Orlo film. Yeah, yeah. The head yeah, of the, yeah. the house yeah. and the scale. Here is a retro bicycle, <laughs> and this house is half timbered house. I think this is a bit modern. 60s house, I think. This room reminds Tom of his grandmother's house, the time with grandmother, like back when he was young, and now he is just reliving the time. Back to uh, 2000. <laughs> 2000, yeah. Those were the days. What are you cooking, Mr. Torpens? <laughs> Imitating German eggs. <laughs> Ah, you forgot to close the lid. Ah, okay. close the lid. Yeah, and and telephone. Yes, man. Hello, good day. Ah, my dear troops, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Ja, ja. Oh, auf Wiedersehen, ja. This is from the radio. This is a family portrait. This is a sundial. Uh, the sun shines and it puts a shadow from the stick on here somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then you know what time it is. Ah, okay. Smart. So people used 
that in the olden days. The little milk house. The little milk house. Yeah, I see the milk can over there. Oh, yes, I, I thought see. so too. Yeah, that's what so this is to store, store the, milk. the milk because they didn't have refrigerator back then. The water <laughs> is cold and so it keeps it cold. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's, why. that's what I was saying. Yeah, back in the day, people were smart. This is a bedroom of one of the medieval houses. It has a very strong wood smell because uh, it's made of wood, the wooden floors and wooden uh, wall and roof. It, it kind of smells old. What is this? Oh, their stroller. Is that stroller? Lovey, you should come and look this. This is how nakas do. We still hang our meat, dried meat, on a stick up in our roof. Yeah. This is an oil lamp, I think, so they had to fill it with oil and then it would... Uh, yeah, when I was young, I when I, I was young, we did that too, Lave. Yes. Uh, we, we used kerosene lamp. <laughs> oh, those were the days. It will never come back. This is their toilet. They have to open this and they just sat here like Western style toilet and maybe they used newspapers back then and no tissue papers <laughs> to okay. wipe okay. I don't know. or water yeah. or maybe to read yeah, yeah to read newspaper yeah i don't know what this newspaper yeah. is depicting here but i guess so it's to read hi i'm a youtube influencer and i've made five million dollars <laughs> just this month i will teach you how to do it but first let's take a look into my house which is worth one million dollars i just bought it new Newly, I haven't stepped inside yet, so join me. Click <laughs> on the link to know how you can make $1 million a month. <laughs> this is certainly not a scam, but don't trust the others, just trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. There is a lot, like a lot, lot, lot to see from the medieval time, but we will end it here because it will just be a very long video. When we came, it was around 9.30. It was all empty and now a lot of people are starting to come and we are leaving. That's the world's biggest cuckoo clock and there's like a window out there. The cuckoo clock will come out and say cuckoo, cuckoo. Look at the pendulum, it's so big. And one interesting fun fact about this clock is that it runs with gravity and not with batteries. Like forest clocks. Uh, production started in the seven, mid 17th century that's like three centuries ago and it was like a supplement for their income during the harsh winters uh, and with the snow and all they didn't have any outdoor occupations so they started crafting and creating the cuckoo clocks and during those days it not only helped them to have income but it is now renowned artwork all over the world so it's quite interesting we are in tree park uh, waterfall it seems like this is a very famous waterfall in germany it costs us 16 euros to come here maybe it's more interesting up there so we're going um, we're going up there and it's a lot of people. There is a squirrel over there. Oh, it took its food and ran away. Was it nice? Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. A, a nice stroll over this waterfall. Yeah. Uh, we are going downhill, going back. We yeah. can still go up, but that's more for like hiking, I think, because the waterfall, it ends here. Yeah. With the same ticket from the waterfall, we came here in a museum which shows the past and present cultural and economical life of the Black Forest people. There are figures of original clockmakers, cuckoo clocks, their beautiful Black Forest costumes, which was my favorite, and also the self-play orchestrians and the children were really enjoying a lot with the music we are here to fill our stomach we just came out from this museum and we are sitting by the beautiful valley here and we're gonna just eat our food Tom and I we are just walking down here and 
uh, we are walking down the cobblestone alleyways and it's so beautiful like with the half tempered houses it's just so stunning oh. and it's all surrounded by very dense forest over there here camping it looks so exciting with their caravan by the river hey everyone it's our day four in germany we are in freiburg tom and i we just came out from a museum and he even bought a book a german book he said he can read german so yeah <laughs> but it was so nice the experience there i mean i mean it's a very big building with four floors and the lowest floor uh, it had this exclusive exhibition all like painted during the renaissance period and those were all brought from italy and oh gosh they were so nice i mean the way they painted on the woods and everything it was so nice and it has this different theme according to the building floors and it has these big massive stone sculptures of different church fathers and saints and martyrs oh it was just fascinating to uh, look at that and they were crafted so well i mean even their expression the emotions of it it was all crafted so well and for me i i physically enjoyed and i learned something from the description but for tom uh, it's basically all his studies and research it's all based on those works it's all related so he could connect all the thoughts as he was just looking over it um, he said he wants to live there right he even bought a, a book I, uh, yeah I didn't mention the museum it's Augustine's museum I think for Tom that's one of the best museums we have ever been because his interest lies on that yeah, we visited one like that in Amsterdam once also. It also had a lot of icons and... and yeah. Man, I mean, I'm talking about here in Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah it was top. It was brought from the Italian government to here. And they had yeah. Italian guards. Yeah, so, I, I just told them, like, yeah. They had these Italian guards. even early guards. Greek sculptures. Uh -huh. No, no, uh, pottery, pottery. That you see in textbooks. That, that, that's <laughs> yeah. so fascinating. Yeah. Some of the art, like, sort of top, top. Textbooks, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really... It's a cover, as a cover image. We bought some pork the dried pork or the smoked pork we are eating the very famous sausage in germany the long red sausage they call it lange rot that's like lange rot. long lange red one yeah it's so tasty i mean the sausage is grilled so well i would call this a hot dog but i don't know how people say it here a friend asked us to bring schnapps uh, it's a liquor very famous in Germany and very famous from Black Forest and this place is just so beautiful I mean it is in a very like high altitude uh, municipality while we were coming one of our friends was telling me like oh it's good that it's warm here because usually it's cold because it's so high uh, it's like 15 meters high and this is very famously known for ski resorts and all and look behind me like there are gable cars they are just passing one after another there is a lot of cable cars and i'm just enjoying the view here and there is like a nature a nature museum nature exhibition i don't know tom is there but i just thought to come here first and show you guys and while we were 
coming here uh, because it's in a high altitude we were just coming and we saw beautiful hills and valleys and mountains and uh, the hills I mean the top of the mountains while we were coming up the trees looked like grasses just grasses and some of the parts uh, the trees looked looked like uh, kindergarten children would draw trees like three 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 to make a uh, tree what am i saying like in a very round shape it looked like as if someone just put all the gardening figure trees over there it was such a beautiful like i'm just exaggerating the word beautiful like magnificent so stunning here hey we are in Titi Say, Titi Lake, and it's a natural, natural lake, and people come here like to leisure and just relax. They can sail, uh, rent petalos, windsurf, swim, kayaking, everything. And Tom and I were just gonna look around uh, the market. What the cell and have a drink. This is the outfit women and girls wore during the medieval age in Black Forest. And the servers from our hotel, they also wear like these dresses. Every evening we get to see them wearing such beautiful dress. And our settings of our hotel is like modern style in. So it looks so nice with the settings. We're going to ride a boat for half an hour. I think this is our boat. Bonjour from France. It's our day five and we left Germany. And now we are in France in a city called Metz. And this city is famous for its historical monuments and buildings and picturesque uh, river settings and many others. Uh, one of those is this cathedral, uh, which was built in 15th century. It's a gothic style, very beautiful. As you can see, it's very high with high pointed arches, which is typical Western European style during Middle Ages. And I'm just gonna get inside and see how it looks. Tom is already leading and I'm gonna follow him. Hello everyone, we are in Luxembourg in a place called Capella. We stopped here to do some small shopping. Probably this is going to be our last stop and then we will just hop on and continue our journey back home. We had our breakfast in Germany, lunch in France and now afternoon tea, coffee break in Luxembourg and soon we will have dinner in Belgium. Meals of the day in different countries, I find that quite astounding you know the past five days it passed so quickly i feel like we just started but it has ended we had a very good time we enjoyed a lot i mean um, we did so many things i mean we went to so many places tasted so many nice food did so many new things and sometimes uh, we even forgot to vlog because we were so much into the moment enjoying but we don't regret for that we are so happy that we came to black forest it was just so peaceful we relaxed and just cleared our mind we needed that holiday it was so relaxing for us too and we enjoyed a lot now our holidays are over <laughs> we go back home and continue with our works and thank you all so much for watching we will see you all in our next vlog. Bye!